What world event do you think was staged? The FBI killed Martin Luther King. I mean, his family recently won a court case, that basically admitted that the police did a cover-up. Also, the Wendigoon episode on it was amazing. In the UK a spy or someone who worked in intelligence was found dead in his apartment. He drowned in his bath, locked inside a North Face duffel bag. The lock was on the outside of the bag. Official verdict into his death. Suicide. Source, Wikipedia. The Air Fort Latrine disaster in 1184. I fully believe that Henry VI staged that to create a power vacuum, his family was equipped to take advantage of. In 1964 the USS Maddox was attacked in Vietnam, in what became known as the Gulf of Tonkin incident. This act convinced Congress, to let the president put boots on the ground in Vietnam and essentially started the war. However documents declassified, in the early 2000s revealed this was actually a false flag operation. The War on Drugs Once you read about how Harry J. Anslinger manufactured the marijuana scare just to keep his job, you'll realize how crazy the entire situation is. Anslinger was the DEA version of J. Edgar Hoover, and before the DEA even existed. I completely believe that James Earl Ray did not kill Martin Luther King Jr., instead I believe he was an unknowing asset or the fall guy. An opinion that is actually shared with the King family, who were actually involved in a court case about it, and do not believe Jer shot MLK. What happened is so suspect that even back then there was a lot of suspicion, however the official version taught doesn't leave much room for doubt. The bathroom window he was supposedly shot from did not provide the right angle for the bullet, which would have been above. Instead, when he was shot he moved up, which indicates it coming from below or level, he was on a motel balcony. There was a massive tree branch that blocked the entire view of the motel from the bathroom window. A tree which the night after the shooting was cut down by the police department, on orders from the FBI to help the investigation. A man walked by the open bathroom door seconds before the shooting and saw no one inside. Jer would have had mere seconds to entire the bathroom and make an impossible shot. Before exiting and not being seen by the man as he turned around. All witnesses reported the shot as coming from outside. With multiple people reporting two men exiting the bushes below the window with a bag before leaving, the two men have never been identified. MLK received threatening letters before he was shot, letters that have since been connected to the FBI. These letters were meant to intimidate him into giving up. An unknown man called and rebooked MLK's room to one that had a large window facing the road, when he originally had a room on the other side, away from the road. This caller has not been identified, despite having information that Jer would not have had. Jer's fingerprints or any hairs were not found in the hotel room he rented. He said that he was there for an arms deal with a partner, heard a gunshot, assumed someone was killed, waited for his partner and then drove off as the getaway driver. Interestingly, a car that was identical to his was found at the scene, however he had taken his car. Finally, the gun Jer had didn't match the bullet. The rifling was very different. While it could potentially have been some major fluke in the gun, more than likely the gun under no circumstances would match. I recommend reading more about this case, it's pretty interesting as you get into it. Finding out that MLK's own family think Jer is innocent and actually were involved in a court case with the FBI over an assassination on MLK is quite telling. I'm of the opinion the FBI staged the killing, had some insider information about an arms deal going down, and decided two birds with one stone by killing MLK and have Jer put away for good. About the case I've mentioned, it was between the King family and the alleged conspirators as well as multiple government agencies for the conspiracy to kill MLK. The interesting part is the King family fucking one. Dale Jr. winning the July NASCAR race at Daytona, after his father was killed in an accident there in February. That time David Copperfield made the Statue of Liberty disappear. Definitely something fishy about that. Not an event per se but the fact everyone still thinks that Banksy is just one guy, trust me, it's a well-oiled machine that, even from the 99 2000s had a small team working on it all, it's been one big money-making exercise from the early days, the fact Robin and co are still getting away with it proves it works so good luck to them. Internet backlash. There are maybe a handful of real people and a million bots, making all the news and all the decisions right now. At least some of the world's conspiracy theories must be true, but the thing that stops me believing most modern ones, is that contemporary politics and business scandals have shown us that the human race is pretty much incapable of keeping secrets. Some of the conspiracy theories you hear, would require so many different people and institutions, often with conflicting agendas, keeping secrets. That's the bit that isn't plausible. 
It was far more plausible in the time of JFK when info wasn't as easily stored, recorded or shared. The coup in Turkey a few years back. It was a ploy to give legitimate reasons to hand more power to President Erdogan. The Great Fire of Rome. But I'm not the only one that thinks this. People think Emperor Nero burned down swaths of the city, just so he could buy up the land to make his mansion. The fact that that's exactly what happened after the fire, didn't help his case. Dude was so evil, people theorized he might have been the Antichrist. Martin Luther King was killed by a lone gunman. I honestly think the FBI had him killed. I mean it has been proven that they killed prominent leaders of the Black Panther Party. TBH Flat Ethers. I truly can't believe for a second that with all the technology and photos proving that the earth is round, that flat ethers are real. I truly do believe they know for fact the plant is round, but just say it isn't to troll society as a whole. Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't think I am. They have to be staged. Princess Diana's death, we all know it was John Mulaney, he's not fooling anyone. The Hawaii missile alert false alarm has three possible scenarios that I'm tossed on. 1. It really was a misclick. 2. It was a drill to test the preparedness of a missile attack. They wanted to see what a population would do in that scenario. 3. It was a real incoming missile attack, but the US has top secret missile interception capabilities that nobody knows about. Except whatever country actually launched the missile now. I bet the foreign country, in this scenario, would have even figured they did and was just testing to see the full extent of the technology. Jeffrey Epstein committing suicide, way too convenient to be true. Same high security prison that housed El Chapo suddenly doesn't have camera footage of that night and the guards were unaware of what was going on too? Smells of BS lol. I believe the moon landing was real, but they went out of their way to pack as many TV cameras on the mission as possible, so in the most literal sense, it was staged as a media production, almost more so than a scientific mission. The energy price crisis in the UK right now. I suspect that when Russia invaded Ukraine the oil companies saw an opportunity to make an unthinkable amount of money and our government are corrupt enough to just let them get away with it. The fact Rishi and Liz seem unwilling to talk about it or sympathize with people is enough proof. Edit, I know the energy crisis isn't only in the UK, I was just under the impression that we'd been hit harder than other European countries. I really wasn't expecting this to get so many upvotes. Shelling of Manila. It is a proven fact that the Soviet Union staged the whole thing, to justify their invasion of Finland. Military coup in Turkey was 100% fake, to create a dictatorship and get rid of the opposition. That the first Sonic movie with that funky creature, they tried to pass off as Sonic in the commercials, was only created as a publicity stunt, they always had the enhanced Sonic, but only wanted the attention, to promote the movie. That time Orson Welles announced the Martian invasion. Something about that just doesn't add up. Left Twix and right Twix are not different at all. In fact I am to believe they are even made in the same place, by the same machine. I swear that almost every four years, an event occurs that some call the Olympics. You can believe what you want, but I don't think they occur organically. Controversial opinion, but I think that my father going to get the milk, 17 years ago was pretty staged. The blatant lie that Santa Claus can deliver presents to all the kids in Earth in one night. But still have a time to check his list twice. The accepted model of human migration. ATL East, a vital part seems to be missing. Since we do a lot more DNA sequencing, they've found a genetic link between Australian Aboriginals and natives in Southern South America that's quite prevalent, which doesn't occur anywhere in Northern American genetics. Which would suggest these people found a different, Southern route to the Americas. A possible explanation could be that the lower sea levels during one of the ice ages allowed for island hopping through the Pacific, through Polynesia and could also explain how Easter Island has inhabitants. It's the most isolated place on Earth with the closest coast being 1,500 to 2,000 kilometers away. It mainly just underlines that we know very little about what's viewed as accepted about the ancient times. Fascinating. The Big Bang. I mean how did they even get a cameraman there to record it? Don't make sense to me. Thank you for watching, Reddit Stories. May you and your loved ones have a blessed day.